Think of the occasion when you are traveling in Ecuador and you suddenly get fever at night. You feel desperate since you have to suffer a long and exhausting night before you can visit any doctors at your earliest. You become even more desperate since the medical resources in Ecuador can sometimes be very limited. And the doctors will possibly give you prescription based on their suspicions. Unfortunately, these suspicions are not always true. And sometimes this could be a life or death problem. Taking fever, for example, a lot of different diseases have similar fever symptoms. They can be dengue, malaria, and other infections. So what if we can invent something to help physicians distinguish different fevers? That's exactly where the story begins for my research in Cornell, to develop a technology called fever phone, which differentiates six fever infections. So what is fever phone and how it works? Basically, fever phone is the device to diagnose fever with a phone. Here's how it works. First, one drop of blood is taken by a finger stick. Second, the blood sample is placed on a test strip and then inserted into the portable station, which looks like a coffee maker showing on a slide. For each disease, the detection target is encoded with a different color. Your phone then captures the color and sends the data back to the blood testing amp. Then the amp interprets the data and provides positive or negative result for each disease. Hospitals generally take 24 hours to make decisions. With a fever phone, however, we will have a actionable diagnosis for six diseases in about 15 minutes with only five to 10 bucks. So it's quick and simple. It's also portable and affordable. In parallel with our technical development, we are also going to perform a field validation study in Ecuador. And this system will be fully validated and ready for the FDA approval. Now, outside our application, it's not just fever, but any potential future threat. The technology we are building here is going to be potentially expandable to other infections as well. We feel that developing countries could benefit greatly from this technology. And that's exactly the driving force behind my research. Thanks very much. <laughs>